ever wondered when you called your friend and they live in a different country and they didn't pick up? It's because of the different time zones. Because they live in a different time zone, the time is different. But the unique thing is that the minutes are the same. Today, in this video, I will be giving you some facts about time zones and the Earth, so you don't want to miss out. And before I get started, don't forget to watch my Constellations in the Sky video. I know you love it. Now let's get in! First, the Earth is tilted on its axis and it's spinning. Round, round on its axis and round around the sun. That's interesting. It's spinning two ways in the same time. Did you know that if the earth was flat, the atmosphere would, wouldn't really work and the sun would just bring all these ultraviolet rays to earth and we would just get burned to crisp. And also, if the sun would turn into a black hole, it wouldn't swallow up the planet because it would be particularly small, about six kilometers wide, but we would freeze to death because we need the sun to survive. And also, it would still stay in the center, it wouldn't just travel. And did you know, if the sun shrunk, it, the Uranus and Neptune would just float away, like little asteroids, just trying to find other galaxies to go into. Did you know that if we lost the moon, that also protects us from asteroids, and so does Jupiter, we would the Earth would become even more tilted, and days would be half than what they are now. So, I would not really like a 12-hour day, because that's about the time I stay up. So technically, I only have six hours to stay up and six hours to sleep. But plus, your body sleeps for 12 hours, so technically, if we lost the moon, you would miss a day because you're sleeping? Well, everybody would. Did you know that every hour, it rotates the Earth about 15 degrees? And every time it rotates 50 degrees, that's how they mark the time zones. I said that a bit too early, but I'll get that in in a few moments. Also, did you know that the driest place on the world is, well, not place, continent, is Antarctica? That's unbelievable because there's polar bears, lots of snow, so that really caught me by surprise. And I wanted to add that. And as you should know, the poles get least amount of sunlight than the equator because the equator gets lots of sun and the other places that are not the pools get like natural amount of sunlight. Now, before I get into the time zones, I want you to hit the notification bell, subscribe, like, and share my families. Okay, now let me get back to the topic. The radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles, and Earth is the fifth largest planet in our solar system. I wonder what it would be if the Earth was as big as Jupiter. There would be lots of extra space. wonder what we would do with that space. Plant trees? Well, that would help the global warming issue, but that's a bit off topic. Now, I have to mention one more fact. The Earth spins on its axis at a speed of 1,600 miles. Now, let me get to the time zones. Do you know that as I mentioned, the Earth went hour, it rotates about 15 degrees. And when you times it by 24, you get a whole 360 degrees, but a day isn't actually 24 hours. That's shocking. It's close though. It's 23 hours, 54 minutes, so I guess you could say it's 24 hours, but it's not exactly 24 hours. So, the term time zone can describe various things, but it generally refers to a region or country's local time. If each time zone worked 
one hour apart, the world would have 24 of them. However, the International Dateline, also called the IDL, creates not one, not two, but three more. Also, several time zones are only 30 to 45 minutes apart, which increases the total standard time zone. Hmm, that's very interesting. Daylight saving time zones. During daylight saving time, also called the DST, the time zone's name and time changes. The title is title will usually include the words daylight or summer and the local time is generally set forward an hour and in the winter the clock is set back an hour for example california uses pacific daylight time pdt during the daylight summertime period of a utc offset of utc minus seven however the rest of the year uses pacific standard time PST with a balance of UTC minus 8. You not the same as local time. The term time zone is also confused with another term, local time. For instance, during daylight saving time, it is commonly said that California and Arizona are now in the same time zone. Uh uh, because they're not actually in the same time zone. However, you should say it as California and Arizona now have the same local time. It may not be easy to understand because California's local time during DST is UTC minus 7. However, the standard time is UTC minus 8. However, Arizona's local time is always UTC minus 7 because it remains on one standard time the whole year, which is also interesting. Times on borders may vary. Theoretically, each one hour time zone is 15 degrees wide, indicating a one hour difference in mean solar time. However, a time zone's map's borders likely correspond with the international boundaries and thus rarely align particularly with a 15 degrees time zone's border. Some geographically wide countries, such as India and China, use one single time zone. But it would be natural to expect several time zones, as in the US or Australia. Defined by the UTC offset, everyone on Earth is measured in terms of its distance east or west of the prime meridian, which is zero degrees longitude in Greenwich, London, United Kingdom. This is also the reference point for the coordinated universal time which is also called the UTC, with one hour per 15 degrees longitude. In degrees, the longitude must be divided by 15 to determine the appropriate time zone in hours. Now, let me share not one, not two, but three in interesting or fascinating facts about the time zone. Greenland is in the same time zone as Britain. Despite its location in the middle of the North Atlantic between Iceland and Canada, a narrow slitter of Eastern Greenland gets in the time zone where Britain is. Hawaii and Alaska share a time zone. You couldn't get two more interesting places together. The one has surfing and beaches, and the other one is cold and icy. But there, there's one thing that when I think about it, they really have in common. It's their volcano. <laughs> that's, that, that's cool. And a time zone, which is only half of the year when Alaska observes the British, not the British, I mean the daylight saving time. Now for the last one, number three, the biggest land is in one time zone. Yeah, as if you know, Greenland is the biggest island. Australia is also classified as a continent. It uses four time zones to admit its 8,309 square miles. But 
China keeps things simple. It might have of an area of 3,007,407 square miles, but ask each of its 1.4 billion residents for the time and you'll get the same answer. It's UTC plus A. At that time, I just wish all the time zones were the same. Didn't you? Or do you know any fascinating facts about those time zones? If you did, if you will, put it in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out my second channel, for all those gamers out there that watch my video, I will put a link for that in the description and also a link to all my other videos. Now you can make me even happy. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, share with a friend or all your family. This keeps me motivated to create more content and share more with you. Once again, thank you and I appreciate for watching this video till the end. Till my next video, Toby out.